What's going on, guys? Welcome to Greggle's TV Daily, your source for daily tech news. Make sure you subscribe so you know what's going on in the world of tech. Let's get right into it. First story of the day is about the Galaxy S7 versus the Galaxy S8. Pre-orders have officially been up 30% on the Galaxy S8 over the Galaxy S7. Now we were kind of waiting for some final numbers and it looks like it's 30% more on the Galaxy S8 than it wasn't over the S7. Now that's good news, obviously because you had the Note 7 recall, uh, the S7 did really, really well. So those two factors, a phone that sold really well in the S7, S7 Edge, and then a phone that got recalled, the Note 7, and then you have the S8 and S8 Edge, uh, S7, 8 uh, Plus, that's awesome because Samsung's obviously doing really, really well. The phone's doing really well. So you're looking at hopefully when this Note 8 comes out, it's going to even destroy those records. We'll wait and see. But thus far, Samsung's doing really good in terms of pre-orders slash sales with their new phone. Speaking of sales figures for the S8 and S8 Plus, sales figures for the S8 were supposed to be larger than the S8 Plus, but it looks like the S8 Plus is going to sell about 54% versus 46% on the S8. So that's a fairly big difference. And again, it kind of goes with the moniker of bigger is better. People want a bigger phone, people want bigger screens, they want bigger batteries, and that's what the people are buying for the most part. S8 feels more comfortable in your hand, you can reach it better, uh, especially with the tall display. But obviously, I would want a bigger screen and I also would want a bigger battery, so that's why I chose the S8 Plus. And obviously, 54% of you did as well. Next up is a rumor coming out of Samsung and the Qualcomm camp saying that both companies are working on successors for the new processor and phone together. So they're looking at the S9 using the Qualcomm 845. Now, if you look at the stats of what the 835 was over the 820 slash 821, some pretty big jumps, such as a 27% improvement in performance and a 30% in energy efficiency. Now, if we see those kind of improvements on the Snapdragon 845 in that Galaxy S9, then we're looking at another monster phone. Already, this phone is super fast, opens up really, really well, very snappy. Um, I I don't even say I get lag for the most part, but I do see a slight difference in, you know, just navigating the operating system and opening up apps. I feel like it's faster on my uh, Pixel XL, but this phone is still really, really quick. And our last story is a little lightning round story and it comes from Google. It's kind of a cool little thing. Basically, if you're in a place uh, on Google and you're seeing, you're looking at a restaurant and you're looking at the review and it's in a different language, it'll automatically translate for you to your specified language. Same thing when you look at the uh, directions. If you get directions for it, it's gonna be in your language rather than in that native language. So very cool technology that, that they're putting in that. You don't have to you know, copy it and then paste it in some translator app to figure out what it means in your language. It'll automatically be translated for you as long as you have data. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every single day. I want to thank my Patreon supporters. Thank you so much, guys. If you want to be a Patreon supporter, check down below. Also, my question of the day is, what would you want to see as a major feature in the next Galaxy S9? Maybe a bigger screen a way better battery. Maybe you want way better performance. Let me know in the comments down below what you would love to see in the new Galaxy S9 that maybe either you'd like to see improved or just added whatever this phone doesn't have. For me, I would choose battery life. I would want a phone that can last two full days at least. I know a week is obviously, or like forever would be the best, but I think the next up would be like two days. So if they can do something like that, I would be thoroughly impressed, thoroughly happy. Let me know what you would want. My product of the day, guys, UAG cases for the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus. Awesome cases, easy to put on, major protection. Check them out. Thanks for watching. See you down the road. Peace. What up, everybody? If you didn't check out yesterday's news, click on it. The one below that. This is my video that I released today on UAG cases for the Galaxy S8 Plus. Very cool cases. Get an idea of what you're going to be getting yourself into. And then next to me, click my head, click subscribe, and you will be on it. Yes!